Hello everybody, welcome to this Codelia review. In this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Codelia. As always, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will also be leaving a discounted link so that you can always get your money's worth for Codelia. So Codelia is a headless CMS tool allowing you to create websites, e-commerce, and much, much more with complete flexibility for what you want. So this is the original dashboard, or this is the main dashboard rather, and as you can see, we have our profile at the top. We also have a link to some quick actions for our site users, etc. We also can look at a demo site and also view help, and then on the left we have our taskbar. In the center of the page we have our planned status and when your last login was just a nice little bit of information for your original dashboard so we're going to begin with the getting started tab now what this allows you to do is either take a guided tour you can add users to your team or enable security alerts we're not going to go ahead and take a guided tour because i'm going to take you through it but you can hit add new user here to add people to your team this is all the information that you would need to put in um, and then you go ahead and hit add and you can also even choose a profile picture for them which is actually really quite nice and then you can also enable security alerts by selecting the security level, whether you want to get the alerts via email. And if you do, then you have to put in the email address for that and then what time zone you are in and then go ahead and hit update. So as you know, this is the original dashboard. Now we've been through this, so we're now going to head over to sites. Now sites is where you can actually go ahead and create your first site. So this is my original site, as you can see. If I hit the link to this, it will take me to a completely demo site, and this is what it will look like. From Codelia, we can hit manage, and what this allows us to do is look at all the different options for this website. So we also have the option to add content models. Now what this allows me to do is select the type of website we want. So let's say we want a portfolio website. Hit select and just go ahead and select which content models you want. We're gonna just have pages and elements and hit add. Now once you've done this, this will select uh, the, well it will say at the top that you've got a content model successfully selected. And once you've done that, it will be added. Now the difference between having say portfolio and event is what happens over on these. So if I go to pages for instance, we obviously have for a portfolio website, projects, any news, contact details, about and home. So it's basically added a template for me to follow to create my website, really, really handy. And if you selected a different content model, then this would simply make all of those pages different along with a few things in the element controls as well. The actions that you can do to pages you can either edit the page, duplicate, you can access the control panel or delete the page. Hitting controls, you can actually view all of the information on it and go ahead and edit these to your liking as well. So obviously you can add more if you do want them by hitting add new control or you can edit the page, but you can also edit the ones that they've already added for you, which is really, really handy. Now, as you can see, we don't have any elements at the moment. As you can see, zero projects and zero news. Under the actions tab, you can either edit the element, duplicate element, add a new project or view all projects. So if I want to add a new one, I hit add new project and you can type in all of the information you need to about said project. You can put an image for it, a summary and a description. Really, really useful if you have a load of things that you have sort of done and completed or say you're a film person. What you can do is put all of your videos, all of your sort of short films that you've created or things that you've edited or anything in here. Um, and then you'll be able to put a description, an image or a link, or whatever you want so that people can view it along with lovely SEO things and more people can find it. The same can be said for news and then you can also also hit add a new element so that you can add as many different things as you want. You can also view all projects, which allows you to view everything that you've got in your um, in your project list. Um, if you hit edit element, this allows you to change the name and the singular name, so projects and project, and then go ahead and hit update. And that is about it for the elements tab. As we know, under projects controls, we obviously have all of the different project ideas that we're going to put under it. So title, SEO title. So all of those things that we had on that almost like form looking page, this is exactly where you can edit actually what you would type in. You can even set the type of input that you want. So whether you want it to be a file, whether you want it to be a date or even a piece of text, you can do that. You can set maximum lengths for each of these and you can also set whether they are obligatory or so mandatory or whether they can choose or are optional. 
Under SEO, we can view all of our search engine optimization settings as well, um, or optimizations as it says here. So we can view everything that we've got incorrect with the website. Now, as you can see, this helps us to market the website and so that more people can see it. So as you can see here, this says it's too short. There are five titles that are too short. There are five titles that we've missed, and there are five descriptions that are too short and five descriptions that we've missed. So by process of elimination, it looks to me as if the missing descriptions also class as too short, which would make sense because they're below a specific amount of characters. But what you can do is if you want to amend these, you can go to say missed SEO titles and hit view all, and it will give you all of the ones that you're actually missing. So, and then you can edit them with the edit button here in order to fix that and make sure that it doesn't pop up with that being one of the options or numbers that it has an error under calendar it's very simple you've got a calendar so you can view anything that you want on the website um any so you can even create sort of a roadmap for yourself all you do is hit settings for calendar and you can add email reminders email reminder frequency and hit update and then if you want to add something to the calendar you would need to do then is hit on a date so let's say it's the 16th of uh, October and you go ahead and hit add event and then you can select all the information that you want here really really handy now under task management you can select tasks for you to complete on the website or for building it so as you can see we don't have yet but if we wanted to add a task all we do is put um add seo add, yeah, add seo that will do and we can set the date for the 16th of october done no uh category isn't required but assigned user will be me and then you can go ahead and hit add and what this will do is have a lovely list of tasks that you need to complete and you can hit start and then it will even do an elapsed time of how long it's taken you to do that and then you can hit stop and obviously this is a really, really good way of managing all of your tasks, you know, how long it's taken, when you completed it, when you started it, who it's assigned to, and what it actually is. So you've also got the option to add integrations. All of these, as you can see, are powered by Zapier, or at least most of them. And what it allows you to do is, say you wanted your Twitter handle, or your Twitter page, to be viewable on the website. All you would need to do is add the Twitter um, integration and this would allow everyone to see your tweets that you have done at the time you can also add things like uh, instagram and paypal and all of these ones and then you have got a lot lot more that you can add as you can see zapier is a huge huge integration company um so as you can see five thousand plus apps so you'll be able to definitely find something that meets your requirements and then under your settings and api you have your site type and api token now i'm obviously going to blur out the api token it will be blank for you but it is there if you need it and if somebody does have it you can hit generate and it will generate a brand new one so nobody will be able to use it and then we can go ahead and hit back to all sites so there we have it now we're going to quickly go to users and go through this so you can add new users and edit user roles all you need to do is hit add new and this is the information we saw earlier under the security tab we have all of this so we can view any failed logins uh, it will obviously do the last 10 because any more is kind of um, too many to view on one page but you ha can hit view all to see every single failed login you can also view the successful logins as you can see here we are um, you can also see the IPs that you have blocked and you hit block new IP to stop a person on a specific internet um, or internet network to stop actually connecting to the website or accessing the dashboard and then you can also set the security level to whatever you please so if we hit edit we can select low medium or high we can actually see what each of these means so low security means that ips that fail login are blocked after 10 times medium is five times and high is twice so essentially if you get the login wrong twice on high even you will be blocked automatically from getting in that about concludes Codelia. So what do I think about Codelia? I think it's a really, really brilliant way of making a website. You can view the demo at any single time so that you know exactly where you're at, what it's looking like. I love the customizability um, and I like the fact that they don't charge you money or a uh, membership for any of the really, really useful features. Um, you can basically get along with this as much as you want for the website. It's really, really handy. Um, a small little bit of analytics, the security in order to protect the dashboard and yourself is absolutely brilliant. Um, the amount of websites that you can have and you can view them all at one time, I really, really like. I would definitely recommend Codelia. But thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.